We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? It's a lot tougher against the crones. Not entirely sure if that was. The third it was. Ah, she did flee. Okay. My sole memento. Vesemir's medallion. Yeah, so that was interesting. I actually thought that Ilmurth was significantly easier than the crones. Now, whether that was because of the differences in the mechanics between the Ilmurth or the crones, or if it was because Geralt is stronger than Ciri, I think it definitely had a lot to do with just our Geralt being a high enough level that he's definitely stronger than Ciri. Uh, certainly defensively, being able to have Quen on frequently and basically just picking our little moments to sneak in an attack here and there. That was, for the most part, enough. Whereas against the Crones, it was like there were times when it felt like it was impossible to avoid taking at least, at the very least, little bits of damage. But then every once in a while we'd get hit for some combos here and there, and then we take a lot of damage. So let's see. Revenge Vesemir? I don't know. I mean, on one part, that is, the primary objective for Siri was to avenge Vesemir. But I don't think we want to encourage that so much, because, you know, we don't want to be like, yeah, be a bloodthirsty, revenge-seeking witcheress. You know, that's kind of, it's not really what we're trying to do here. More so just trying to fend off the wild hunt, and it just so happened that that happened to work in tandem with the whole makeup for Ilmworth having taken Vesemir's life. Let's see. So you can make the case we were lucky. Then the, the reason why I would say potentially still worth mentioning this is because if Siri has any ill feelings toward us having said we should take Ilmworth and you should take the crones, then this might be a way of reinforcing like, hey, you still you did a good job. You achieved the thing that you really wanted to achieve. Because otherwise, you know, I don't know if she'll like continue to hold any resentment toward Geralt for having decided to take on Ilmurth rather than letting her take on Ilmurth, because at least at the time, she was not very happy with that. So maybe we do go this route just to... just to ease that a little bit, that concern. You avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Yeah, this one was served hot. Now to That's find Eredin and kill him. precarious spot. An orange for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses of the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Uh, not sure what else we would do here if we didn't. I mean, this could just be a... Basically, if we say not yet, we have the chance to explore wherever and we're back to, you know open world stuff, whereas if we say, yeah, let's go, we just instantly get teleported there and we're heading straight into the next mission. And we don't really have anything else that we're looking to do other than, I mean, like, maybe selling a few things here or there or taking a look at our staff, seeing if there's anything we want to swap around. If we want to, you know, go to using cat school gear rather than, uh, than using the um, the, the Griffin School gear. We have leveled up, we just leveled up, and we've leveled up a few times since we last weighed the options between going at school versus, uh, versus Griffin School, and I wonder if we might even be able to upgrade those one more time. So I feel like that might be worth taking just a minute to, to check in and see what the level requirements for the next tier of our various Witcher School gear is, because if we can upgrade that, then that would be a big deal. So I think that's worth checking, but I can't think of anything else that we want to do besides that, because we've done, I think, basically every side quest up to this point, besides things that are more so tied to DLC, and also the, the like, get the guy on the island that looks, but I, in case you couldn't tell, I'm not exactly holding that hope that we're going to get that one, because I think we probably did, in fact, bug that one out. But if it happens, it happens. So let's take a second Give here. Give me a minute. I'm old. Make rest. <laughs> hmm. You are, and you do. Thanks, Siri. Let's stay a bit longer. Oh. 
also get some time to spend with Siri. I mean, oh, without her for so long. I am curious to see what else is up here as well. What happens if we... Yeah. So, off to Novigrad then. Oh, okay. Just go straight Give to this. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Still need Let's more rest? Stay a bit longer. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Yes. But mostly I was just curious to see... Like, can we... Can we loot Ilmer? Will it even let us go back up here? Is this too steep? That like their clever way of going, ha ha, you'll never get back up here. No, pretty sure this is where we caught him. Ah, look at that. Okay, you know, could have been far more uh, rewarding than that. I've certainly played games where going back to the places where you fought bosses and looting those areas has given you the best loot in the game. <laughs> Uh, it, it happens every now and again in some games, so not that my expectations were that high, but, uh, what's the gonna, ooh, this would be a sneaky way to throw in something really good there, but it doesn't look like we can loot Ilmworth him. Oh, yes, we can. Hold on. Ilmworth himself? Oh, well, remember when I said the chances of dismemberment were perhaps rather low? Well, the uh, thing is, it does appear as though his head has been dismembered. Magic acorn. Do tell. Do tell. Do you like that's gonna be a quest item? It didn't look like it had any quest item marker on it, but I'm awfully suspicious. The can't. Acorn found from the oak tree giving growing on the peak of Bald Mountain in Velen. I can't imagine that that is just some random uh, piece of food. We're definitely going to hold on to that, right? <laughs> not going to eat it. We're not going to sell it. It's not sure what we actually are going to do with it at this stage. But it technically is not in the quest items category, which is a little strange. Let's see. So, can we... Can we just... I mean, this is kind of cool, just walking around with Siri again, after having spent so long without her, and now suddenly we can, you know, tag team it, be partners in crime. That's pretty sweet. But what I'd like to do... Place of power. Shouldn't draw we, from it. We did, but it is still active. I mean, we could renew it. Oh, we did level up. We should do that as well. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Just barely leveled up. Just barely. So last time we upgraded another round of Igni. We'd do it again, and then be fully upgraded. Then we'd be looking at trying to find something else to do on the sign side, and haven't really seen too many things jumping out, because we do still need six more before we can unlock this final row. And, uh, that means Igni plus basically a, a full round of intensity for something else. Not really sure what that'd be, or mixing matching with some other things as well. So, and I'm not sure, because we're, and we're getting pretty close to the end of the game, I'd have to think. So I'm not sure we're actually going to be able to get down all the way to the bottom bro for both signs and for combat. We might need to, at this point, kind of make an executive decision. Do we want to go the combat route or do we want to go the sign route long term? Because I feel like, what is what is the bottom row for, for signs? What does this do? Ard now deals 40 damage. So Ard has more direct offensive use. Increased chance to apply burning 20% does significantly increase the damage. Enemies on the influence of Yarden lose 10 points of vitality or essence per second. So again, turns into more direct offensive sign. Flex 5% of absorb damage back to the attacker. This, I vaguely remember people saying at the very beginning, was extremely strong. But, I mean, it'd be 
do basically need to go all out on signs from here on out if we want to go this route, I think. Two opponents can be influenced with Axie at the same time. Effect is weaker, though. I don't know, we're using Axie so rarely in combat that I don't really think that's worth it. I think if we are going all the way down for signs, then it's probably going to be Quen Discharge that we're trying to get. If we're going all the way down on combat. Let's see what our options here would be. Crippling Strikes, Bleeding, 25 Vitality, for essence per second. I mean, I think anything that says, like, flat number of damage, like 25 damage, or we saw some other things that sign territory, you know, like, and vitality per second. As we get further and further in the game, I think that's going to be less and less significant because, you know, it's not a percentage. It doesn't scale along with our other gear and abilities unlike things that do that are like based on our our sword damage or something like that you know, every time we upgrade our sword our world is getting stronger so i think crippling strikes is probably not something we're really looking for but something like sunder armor reducing enemies damage resistance that i would think would scale very well once we're thinking long term against particularly strong opponents you know ilmworth we weren't dealing with we were actually dealing a surprising amount of damage to him i thought we were going to deal less than that we were dealing very little against the crones with Siri, but if we could further reduce people's armor with Geralt, also throw on Igni to lower their armor further, then I think suddenly we're talking about significantly reducing their defenses, and that will increase our damage a lot. So I do like Sunder Armor a lot, especially if we could get enough time to upgrade this a few times, and I, I would think it would go 5%, 10%, 15%. And since there are five upgrades, you get all the way up to 25%, and then combine that with how much damage, or how much armor reduction is, is this? Effect skills. So you damage up by also permanently weakens enemy armor. Effect skills with sun intensity up to maximum 75. Oh, so it actually, it isn't melting 75% damage, or it isn't melting 75% armor. I mean, if we saw that, it would be dramatic. But that is one reason to further increase Igni intensity, that does seem to be basically the more Igni intensity we get, the more armor melting we get. So have we already reached that uh, that maximum amount? There's a, there's a different page. Is it this? It tells us what our total... No, nope, not that. Hold on. Get back to character, please. Uh, oh no, not character. Get to... Not meditation, not bestiary, not tutorial. Not characters, not books, not crafting, not alchemy, inventory. This, this. Uh, let's see. Do we, does it say, sign intensity, 143%. Like, that's a lot. Certainly more than 75%. Oh, and it does break down specifically with uh, different signs as well. Yeah, this is interesting. So, hard, guaranteed stagger, Igni, guaranteed burning. Certainly the highest damage. When? 510 damage reduction. Yeah. So this would suggest with our 143% sign intensity that we're already getting the maximum armor reduction from using Igni. So we're not getting any additional benefit, at least on that side of things, in the armor reduction standpoint. Uh, from further upgrading Igni. It's purely the damage that we're benefiting from, and only that. So we shouldn't think about that when we're trying to consider um, whether or not that's worth investing more in. That being said, we are currently using our wolf, our uh, Griffin School stuff, just giving us a lot of additional uh, sign intensity, so it might be that as soon as we take that stuff off, you know, we're nowhere near 143%. That's certainly possible. So... Uh, does make it a little bit tougher to gauge whether that is still worth doing or not. So, yeah, I really don't know. I feel like we're dealing so much more damage with our sword that I feel like we should prioritize that. So I think we go this route, even though I I think you know intent sign signs are can be fantastic as well. You know, defensively, I guess defensively we're doing much more with our signs. Offensively, obviously doing a lot more with our swords, so maybe we stick with the swords here, but could definitely make the case for going either direction. Um, 
Why don't we further upgrade Razor of Focus? Like I said, I don't think it's a huge difference when we upgrade this again, but it's something, and mostly it just gets us closer to unlocking this last row, because we only need three more. That's pretty darn close. That looks pretty doable, whereas, like, this one needing six more for signs just feels like that's... By the time we get that done, we might be approaching the end of the game and therefore might not have the opportunity. Gods protect us. We needn't have come here. We'll hire the ladies. They'll punish us harsh. Too late to undo. Where are you? Stop your chattering. I do want to know where you are. Presumably over here? Yeah. What's the deal with you guys? It seems like we might have missed these guys if we had gone straight over to Yennefer and Triss. The oak is dead. I mean, we saw them on the way up. The oak, but... the crones. I fear that was your last feast. I'm afraid so. Acorns? We do have one, actually. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's any other purpose for the acorns. Maybe there's some really special thing you can do with them, but this is at least something. And so I think we give it to them and hope that that gives them their, or they give us their blessing. And they're like, yay, thank you. <laughs> and who knows what happens from that, but uh, thank you. Otherwise, it's just a theoretical magical item that maybe we could put to use later on, but I really don't know. So I guess we just give it to them. I don't know. I've got one. Take it. Maybe we're but one? giving we up some now? really powerful item, but I don't know. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. Ah. What are we to do? Come, Geralt. Be free. It's time. Manage on your own. Very interesting. I do wonder what the ramifications of that would be. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. Major spoilers in that case, but... Yeah, I mean, of course, everyone in Velen has been suffering from the, basically, the blight that's fallen across the land. Now, are we going to end up getting teleported? Yes, we are. Okay. No opportunity to, I mean, we were probably going to head to Novigrad anyway to talk to Ibier, see if he could upgrade stuff for us. I don't know if we'll have the chance to do that or not. humans thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after mages left hunters needed a new quarry yikes oh Redania? those are Redanian flags hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated and witch hunts will never be about witches to have a scapegoat that's the key humans always fear the alien the odd once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. That was Cleaver on the right, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we heard people warning that, you know, witchers were next. Lion. Ready some tankers with guests. What's up, Sultan? Siri. And Dandelion. When I learned Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. What have you two been? Hi. Long story. <laughs> Do we tell? Uh, I, I mean, they're like our closest friends, right? Sure, it certainly Dandelion is a gossiper, but I think this is fine to tell them about what we were up to. Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the wild hunt. Well, you would have busy mom then, wouldn't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could Thanks. really use some rest. Gladly take some. Put me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, girls. A little matter to resolve. Huh? I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Okay. Not sure what she's referring to. So, 
Uh, yeah, we are looking for Triss, Yennefer, and all the other sorceresses. So that is important, but also, I mean, that's the most important. Excuse me, most important. I mean, yes, also kind of curious if anything big has happened other than that in the meantime, but I think this is top priority. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that port side dive? Why? <laughs> Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Doesn't ah, sound like Yen. And that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. The elf of ours? Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Oh, Avalok? Um, is the ruby suite your best room? Is that, is that, I mean... Gave him your best room? He didn't I. exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Has All right, I mean, sense. fair enough. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. It looks like I'll have my hands full. <laughs> All right. So, final preparations. Oh, man. There's Sultan. He's back. So we can talk to Avlock, talk to Yennefer, talk to Siri, take care of business to Novgrad, and talk to Chris. Nothing that says talk to Zoltan, but let's chat. Uh, well, there's nothing to chat about, it would seem. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. Nice talking to you, though. Okay, anyone else? I mean, there's Dan Line, of course. There is our... I think we saw this happening last time we were here as well. You are absolutely possessed. And line, I'm assuming we probably don't have anything to do. Ask you, oh no, we certainly do have new things to talk to you about. Okay, let's chat a bit. You gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. <laughs> Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist. But deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. Mm, this sure. place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I plan to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. Okay. Um, I mean, we know that he... Uh, we know how he got this, right? I... Kind of laying out a little bit on the details, but you know, he stole the money from Siggy, and then didn't he use that to buy this place? But I don't remember how exactly that whole buying from a uh, senior process played out, because uh, no, he didn't inherit it. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Uh, where did you meet Priscilla? I haven't seen her in a long time. What if she's doing okay? It was at the court of Duke Harold, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the fight. Who won? Well, I don't remember. It was her. Bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she caught my eye, so I let her win. Ah, uh, sure. the prize after the contest. And did you? All right, I see. <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. The one time he does not want to talk about everything. Uh, what a portrait of Hierarch Helmfart. I do remember this was an item that we've been holding on to for a very long time. And at one point I was saying, what, do we just like sell it? Do we break down into components? And you guys were saying, no, 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 Lids, hold on to this thing. And eventually it will, <laughs> it will be very funny the way you can put it to use. So, uh, sure, maybe this is that exact scenario. What? The portrait? portrait of Hierarch Hemelfart I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes. Those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm. Wonderful. Uh, totally. Yeah, definitely. Time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. Okay. Sure. Not really sure what effect that's going to have, if that's truthfully something that might happen to. Um, or if that's going to happen... 
behind the scenes and we're not going to see the results of it? I, I don't know. No, don't tell me if it is. But, uh, Molly was one of the people that he knew previously that was part of the quest with him previously when we talked to all of his various exes, right? But then we had a, a subsequent meeting with her. Ah, oh, why am I? I can't remember what we ended up doing with her. Actually, I can remember this stuff, but I can't remember what the, the second thing we did with her was, though. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? <laughs> you promised to show your butterfly collection, too. That ring a bell? Oh, yes. Now it Butterfly collection. Not you of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. <laughs> Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average one of the middle girl. Give her a smile. Notice her shoes. Let her chat about them. And she turned into a wellspring of passion. All right. If you say so. Well, it does appear as though that's the last she thing for us to me. chat with Dandelion about. But glad we did get the chance to do just that. Uh, what? Oh. oh, it did seem like, yeah, we can loot this place basically every time we get over here. <laughs> so, like, most of it is going to be relatively low-end alcoholic beverages, but I am also curious. Let's save. I'm not sure if we can actually go out and explore the city at all, or if it's going to, like, force us to come back here, or if we're going to get some kind of game over, or if mission failed. Because I would like to check out IV Air and try to do some uh, some crafting. He's pretty close. Oh, actually, yeah, there are some people that are in different places that we need to talk to anyway. Her business, Siri's business is over there. Jennifer, oh, right, is that Crippled Kate's? And then there are several people over in the inn. So yeah, I think now this is probably a good time for us to do that, right? So let's, let's check and just see. I mean, in theory, we could go to our crafting menu and just look that way to see if um if there's anything that we now have leveled up enough to to be able to equip the upgraded witcher gear but you know why not do that when we're at the place where we can actually make the upgrades as well just do it all at once feels like that's probably the way to do it yeah and so the other thing is that we did of course see that Redania was making moves trying to take the city because it was the free city, but then there's Nilfgaard was trying to take it. Uh, well, the, the crime lords basically had control, but Nilfgaardians were trying to take it. Redania was about to try to take it. It does look like Redania has made their move, because now everyone's a Redanian soldier. And so I am thinking that at some point we might end up running into Radovid not so long from now. But Greetings, Ibeer. See how Ibeer is doing. How might I be of help? So we're thinking about crafting stuff. Although we might actually, let's just take a quick look and see if there's anything we can offer? sell. That's just, I don't think we're gonna have much. We might have some simple stuff. Yeah, like a random Velen longsword. Sure, might as well sell that to you. And I think we recently picked up these trousers as well. Sure, we'll sell that too. Um, What was this? Winter's Blade, that is Croc Sword, so we're definitely not selling that. Arval, oh, I did want to stash that. Helmer Steel Sword, uh, I do. I liked it for a very long time. I liked it a lot. So part of me doesn't want to part with it, but, you know, we may be purely out of out of range for that now. You know, it's so high level that it's not ever going to be useful again now that we've gotten stronger swords than that. And you're probably not going to buy anything else from these other categories off of us. So I think, yeah, we had very little actually to sell to you. Let's, uh, curious. We have some things here that are too high level for us. Yeah, 32. Does have higher base damage because it's such a high level sword. That's some crit chance. A crit damage and crit chance. It's actually a pretty solid base sword for us, or sword for us in general. The earn sign density is not super relevant. What kind is this, though? It's silver. So it does, of course, mean we'd be getting rid of a Witcher School sword if we were to go this route, but it, it has better crit chance. Or no, it has better crit damage. I, it, it also has better crit chance because this Silver Sword doesn't have any. But let's, at least for right now, 
focus on seeing if we can craft anything because we might find that you know we can make better versions of the stuff that we're looking to make right now so not too concerned about the uh raw material crafting component type stuff here let's go probably swords and mostly just looking at the levels here do we oh i think we have all of our stuff in our our stash don't we yeah we should probably pick up all of our stuff from our stash so that we don't have to like recreate a feline enhanced sword because we definitely have one of those um or what well, we may not we may only have well yeah we may have enhanced already but i'm not sure that we have superior yet because this would be a good example of the type of thing we might be looking to do so like if we have a level 23 version of this sword but we can go up to level 29 be a pretty nice upgrade that might be a good fit for us to even use right now let's see on the griffin side of things yeah like right now we might even have a an enhanced griffin sword equipped no we i think we were level 26 yeah like this is just looking at the comparison here and well everything is the same except for that Pack power versus relics goes down, so maybe we aren't currently equipping one of these. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and this is the, the item that I was just, or the sword that I was just saying, looks intriguing. Uh, when I was seeing the the version that he was selling in his shop, the craftable version is level 13, whereas the one that we were trying to purchase from his shop was like level 32. So that one was a lot better than what we're seeing here. We have harpy as well, which is too high level for us, but it's now starting to get somewhat close to doable negotiator that's also the name of a sword from the witcher 2 right pretty significant one for the witcher 2 digger yeah we got a recipe for the, or was this we got a recipe recently for a sword i don't remember if it was the digger or if it was this air school we could also potentially upgrade yeah i think either way might have even been the weeper if it was, then that's a lot of crit damage, and I do like this. Chance to dismember. Experience from monster. Yeah. Mostly the crit damage. <laughs> yeah, I think we really should just take a minute, hop back over to our stash, pick up our stuff there. Uh, Roach, I was trying to call you, although she doesn't appear to want to arrive here. So, okay, I guess we're, we're going on foot. But let's just head back real quick. Let's pick up all of our swords. So that way we don't have to craft anything new from scratch because that will get expensive and take us a bunch of resources. So make sure that we do that. Oh, you're a generic guard. Not a Redanian guard. That is actually a little bit interesting. It's not 100% Redanian. So I don't know if that's merely, you know, coincidence. Like you're, well, I mean, we have a Redanian guard and a normal guard next to each other. Okay, and it should be, yeah, uh, right here. So let's just make sure we pick up all of our, our Witcher School stuff. I think we put it all in here. Or did we even, did we already make the upgraded versions? We may have. Oh, hold on. It may be good to go. In which case, you know, it's just a matter of picking up the stronger ones that we previously were not able to equip. Like, first sign Silver Sword is now, the superior one is now possible think that is you know more than we were able to do before um i'd like to take it thank you where what did, did we take it where'd it go um in theory i pressed the transfer button though i don't really see it so sure um feline superior sword i'm thinking is one that we were not well yeah if it was in here before then we presumably weren't using it because it was too high level for us Maybe it's really the, the armor, actually, that we should be focusing on in that case. In which case, we might be headed over to Velen. Talk to uh, Ioana instead. Let's see. We have a Mastercrafted Wolven armor, which we are still three levels away from. Our feline armor is level 23. That's possible that our upgrade... Yeah, I think it's actually maybe even likely that one upgraded version 
would uh, would still be within our our level, would still be equivocal. That's probably the case for much of the cat school stuff that we're seeing here. So yeah, it might actually be more likely or more like a, a time to go visit Yuana because it looks like we actually already did make the fully upgraded swords. Let's get rid of the lower rarity ones here that we have. Hands or signs that the one that we just picked up. This one is level 17. Yeah, I don't think we meant to do that. This one's level 29. Yes. Level 30. Yes. Wait. Earth sign superior. Is that not what we saw up there? Where are you? Earth sign enhanced. Okay, so let's get rid of you. You're not as good, I don't think. But admittedly, I did not double check the level on that one, so <laughs> maybe not. Okay, but I think what we really want here is we really want to take all of our Witcher armor. Armor, not weapons, after all. And those are the things that we actually want to see if we can upgrade. And we also probably do want to take a trophy that is more meaningful than the Dismember. It might be the experience one. It's not a bad idea. It's to Dismember. Bonus gold. Herbs. Experience from monsters. I think we go for the experience from humans, non-humans, because if we're going to fight a bunch of wild hunt, and I'm assuming they count as non-humans, then that might be our best source of experience going forward. That was a little bit of a strange animation. Got me a little bit off guard. But let's actually equip the uh, trophy before we forget, because I will forget that. Maybe even stash the one that has the chance to dismember. I think once we do that, we'll be good to head back over to Velen. So, where'd you go? Trophy that we don't much care about. Dump you. Yeah. I think we've got the stuff we need. There is also a stash pretty close to... Okay. What's up, Dandelion? You know, we'll just jump over you. A wealthy councilman. She's too good for this establishment. Thank you very much. She's like, oh, I wouldn't dare be seen here. My word. But yeah, I think we'll head back now. I mean, assuming that we can, in fact, leave the city, which we may not be able to do. Let's save real quick. I did get my controller vibrating a little bit when I started stepping out here. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. Also, you seek someone stranger? You seem to perhaps be new people around here. So I do wonder if it's possible that there might even be some new quests. I mean, there is, you know, some new welcome signs. There are those around, so uh, we have that to look forward to. But I think we try. I mean, it, it would be reasonable for you to take some fast travel spots to go to the other locations for this quest, right? So I don't think we're going to get a, a failed game from, say fast traveling over to Crow's Perch right now, but we're about to find out. We're about to find out. The answer appears to be no. Knock on wood. Pretty sure we're safe here. Okay, so. Joanna. I think we are talking about, uh, yeah, it's actually fighting. I think we are actually talking about master crafted versions now, or at least we might be. So I think we legitimately do need it to be her. Because you guys were saying that, well, actually, it's only the master crafted versions of the Witcher gear that you need from Yoana and from Ivier. Anything that's lower level or lower tier, you can have a journeyman armor or journeyman weaponsmith make that stuff. Okay, so Yoana. Good of you to come by. What can I do for you? You wanna? We would like you to craft stuff. Okay. What are you selling? What's good? What's good? So. Uh, oh. We actually want to do not the shop things. We want to do the craft fit. What? Huh? Make me some armor. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. There we go. Okay. So, 
Let's see. None of that stuff. It's enhanced feline. I think we already have that. That's the one that we holding on to right now. Do we not have? Oh no, it's all it's alphabetical, so that's why we're seeing a bunch of E for enhanced. Mastercrafted might be level 34 across the board. It kind of looks like it. Yeah. He's for Griffin, for Ursine, Feline. Why do we not have superior feline? That might be worth checking. Hmm. We have enhanced feline, but we don't have superior? That's interesting. It might have been, I think it was too high level for us. I think we were, I think we might have been level 26, maybe level 27 when we were last making our Witcher gear. So we were saying, okay, superior griffin boots, that's fine right now. But we weren't high enough level to use feline boots yet. So we said, okay, let's keep the lower tier version of those so that we can at least use them. And on a future occasion, we'll upgrade them. And I think this is that future occasion we just need to make a dark steel ingot. Just double check if there's anything else. I don't think we ended up making any of the Thera Sign School stuff, because that's heavy armor. And we were saying we probably don't want to do that at all. Maybe Wolf School, but I think we we're largely waiting to see if we we want to do that later on once we spend a little bit of time with the, the Griffin School and try to make a decision. Do we prefer feline? Do we prefer griffin? Do we want something entirely different? In which case we'd go wolf, but let's let's make this dark steel ingot, which I think you can do for us. I think you can? Crafting components. Dark steel, not iron, steel. Yeah. Okay, we have plenty of dark iron or plenty of steel ingots. Yeah. So this... Shouldn't be a problem at all. We just make one of them and it costs 15 or uh, 18. Nothing. So that's cool. Boots. Superior feline, right? Yeah. So now we can make this. I think we do that. And this gives us attack power, which is generally the theme of feline school gear. And I think every time we upgrade this, the percentage goes up by two, so I think the previous version was 6%. I mean, we could even check if we wanted to right now, right? So, here is eight. I mean, enhanced is six. I think that's what we'll find. Yeah. It goes up a little bit with each subsequent upgrade. 2% doesn't sound like a lot, but what with the way that uh, damage is calculated in this game, I do believe that that is actually quite significant. Um, you know, obviously, like, oils for 50% are humongous, comparatively speaking, but because it's basically, like, what is your attack? What is the opponent's defense? And then subtract uh, their defense from your attack, and that equals your damage. You know, generally speaking, your attack might be a really high number. It might be 1,000. But if your opponent's uh, defense is 900, then you're still only dealing 100 damage. So it's not a lot once you run their defense, once you run the math and calculate their defenses, but uh, increasing by 2% actually turns into a lot more than 2% damage because, okay, so that meant that we were dealing 100 damage before that upgrade, but if we uh, get 2% more damage, then that adds on 20. Now we're at uh, 1,020 damage, but if you run that same math and subtract uh, or do 1,020 minus 900, then you're at uh, 120, that's a 20% damage increase, going from 100 damage to 120 damage. So it looks like, from a base damage standpoint, that it's just a tiny little um, increase, but once you actually do the net damage, calculating the amount of defense that enemies have, it's actually quite significant, or at least can be. Again, like I said, oil's comparatively humongous, but still. Uh, just mean to suggest that get a little bit of extra damage from our armor is not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so that's boots. Let's close the boots tab. Look at chest armor, and I think we might find ourselves in a similar situation with this because I think, generally speaking, we found that feline school, yeah, was higher level than griffin school. So we might have done one more round of griffin school upgrades than we did 
D-line school upgrades, although, I don't know. These, generally speaking, are lower level than we saw with the boots. So we might have already made one more version. So Mastercraft, and again, seems like 34 is just the magic number. We're not there yet. We're getting close, but once we reach that, we'll definitely make a point of, or at least try to make a point, if I remember, of, uh, of putting on the Mastercrafted gear. I mean... Who knows if we'll be able to go back over to Velen to make Mastercraft and stuff here with, with Joanna. It's probably going to be kind of hard to tear ourselves away from whatever we're going to end up doing because things are getting pretty big. But okay, it does look like we can upgrade our feline armor and still be at level 29. That's a pretty good fit level-wise, and it doesn't look like we've done this already. It seems like we're currently on Enhanced because, yeah, like I said, I think we were level 26 when we were doing our last round of upgrades, so we would not have wanted to go all the way up to a tier of gear that requires level 29. We have all the stuff to make it. Amaranium plate, that is kind of rare, but then again, like, what else are we going to use it for? So, if not this. Pure dragon leather, that's going to be kind of hard to come by. But, uh, let's do it. Okay. Then, Riffin armor does also require pure dragon leather. I don't know if we have any raw materials with which to make more of that? Demeridium plate, I think we do for that. Let's see. And then I don't think we're going to want any of this other stuff here. So yeah. We're looking for... Did we, we don't have this one. It is level 26, which is a little strange. Maybe we were 25 previously? When we did our last round of stuff? But oh, we can buy some. It is something we could buy. It's quite expensive. But it might be worth it. Let's just see if we can craft it. So it costs a little over 400 to buy it. We try to see if we can craft it. I would think that'd be a little bit less expensive. But the real question is, do we have the raw materials to make that happen? Cured crafted leather. Oh. We definitely do. Wow. Hardened leather. Chitinous shell. We have a ton of those. Doesn't, like, chitinous shell, you get those from, what, like... Andrigas? Those aren't even Draconids, so that's a little bit strange. But uh, that's far cheaper. Far cheaper. Yeah. Let's definitely go this route instead. And I think we only needed two this round. I mean, part of me feels like while we're doing it, might as well make more, but if it's not necessary to do it now, then probably shouldn't. Just do it when we need it. I'd find more later on and not need to do any crafting for it. So now we needed, oh, we also needed the, um, huh, we don't have enhanced Griffin armor? Is that because we're wearing it right now? I don't know about that, let's just double check what the deal is with enhanced. Did we accidentally skip that? No, that's, well, Griffin. Huh? Hold on. Let's double check what we're wearing right now. I thought we were equipping some kind of griffin. Oh, we definitely are. Take care now. Just want to double check what rarity it is. What tier? Because it is superior griffin armor. Is that's a level twenty six one? Okay. Is that the one we were just saying we might want to create? And we were saying I thought we were level twenty six when we were going through all that stuff. Yes, it does appear so. Perhaps we were. Okay. So yeah, I mean, that does perhaps mean that we made some dragon leather that we didn't need to make, but at the end of the day, does that matter so much? Like I said, I think there's certainly a chance we'll need it in the future, so not the end of the world, and we did opt to go the crafting route, which was less expensive than the buying route, so I think we're fine there. Get Let's on. check what other types, though. What can I do so we've you? done boots, we've done chest plates. Need some armor made. Thinking gloves. You know, our gauntlets, that could be another thing for us to check. In our trousers. Let's see. Again, what level did we have up to previously? I feel like we had enhanced feline if it was only level 23 that that required. This might be the lowest level that we've seen thus far. Don't make the base ones. That's not necessary. We actually have all the parts needed for the Mastercrafted Griffin. So yeah, that confirms that we definitely had superior Griffin gauntlets before and we're probably wearing them right now. 
that also shows that even when you have this stuff equipped, they will show up on the crafting menu. I wasn't entirely sure if it would say that, yes, you have a air griffin gauntlets available, or if it would say, no, you don't have any because they're equipped. But, uh, okay. I mean, we're not going to do this now, because that would mean we wouldn't be able to equip this anymore, at least for another three levels. We're looking for superior... Yeah, feline would be the other one that we'd like to try out. Dark Sea Lingot. We can definitely craft this. So I think we do that, because it's going to be less expensive than buying one for 74. I think we saw it was, what, like 18 when we were making it before? So let's do that, and this might be one that we decide to make a few of, because it does seem like it's pretty common. So it was, what, Dark Steel? Not Dark Iron, Dark Steel. Yeah. Let's make... While we're here, let's make a few. It's cheap. We have a bunch of the materials. So, you know, throw in an additional 36 coins to get a couple extra ones, just so that we don't have to tap back over here when we next are in need of those. Now we should... Yeah, be able to do this? Okay, cool. Anything else that is particularly valuable considering that we need to use it. Not really. Monster Claws is the next most scarce thing, but I think we probably sold a bunch of these. It's probably one of those crafting materials that we had a bazillion of, so we we're like, okay, sure, we'll just dump some. Get some additional monies, so make this. Okay. So we've definitely upgraded some feline stuff. Less so on the Griffin School, but it does mean that it is perhaps worth taking another look at comparing between Griffin and Feline, which one do we prefer? Now that we've upgraded some stuff, but we still have trousers to go here. And I think we, based on the levels, hmm, let's see. Let's look at what Superior is. Yeah, I don't think we had Superior Feline. This would be the next round of this. And look at that. Dark Steel, like I said. It seems as though basically all of the feline stuff had that. So let's make this. And again, general thing here is going to be that for the feline school, it's going to get higher armor, of course, as it gets higher level, and also 2% increased attack power bonus for each subsequent upgrade that we make. And maybe the resistances are getting slightly better as it ranks up as well and haven't been keeping as close of an eye on that make that and then did we go with the griffin trousers it's level 26 and i'm not seeing any comparison between this griffin trousers that we're looking at here and our current equipped pair of trousers so i'm pretty sure that means that uh we are using them right now i'm gonna see if like there's any, there definitely is a button that will compare the item we're looking at to what we have right now but uh not entirely sure what that is or at least there is. Uh, don't think it's the same button that it is on other screens. But anyways, pretty sure we have that. And again, that means the next tier would be Mastercrafted, and we're not level 34, so we don't want to do that now. So again, that means that we upgraded Feline, but did not upgrade the, uh, the Griffin School. And we don't really need to make this stuff. So that means... Take care Let's now. take a closer look at whether we want to go Griffin or go Feline. The other thing is that the aesthetics, the appearance of the items does change a bit when you upgrade them. And I was not a huge fan of the way that the Feline School gear looked in particular. I thought it was rather meh. But after further upgrades, I think it might be getting a bit better here. So... <laughs> If nothing else, I am intrigued by what the the uh, style will look like. I think by messing around with the buttons, I've made this explanation of the stats far larger. This is taking up like at least twice as much space as it did before. I mean, it's kind of nice. It makes it a little bit easier to see the stuff, but it does take up a lot of space. So like if we do cross comparison here, start with the trousers. It's light armor. That's one other notable distinction, is that by switching from Griffin School to Feline School, we go from medium armor to heavy armor, so we, or rather medium armor to light armor, so we'll get our stamina back more quickly. I haven't noticed that so much 
might partially be because we've done some sign upgrades and generally speaking i think with almost all the sign upgrades that we've picked up thus far they'll say well gain or you know like regenerate stamina five percent quicker or something like that so that might have kind of made up for the switch as we were making that transition from light armor to medium armor but if we go back and do it all at once right now then that might suddenly become a bit more of a dramatic switch but Higher armor, the attack power, like we were saying, is the sort of distinguishing thing about feline armor in general. Then lower resistances, that is kind of what you get by going down to a, a light armor. But let's see what it looks like. That looks kind of nifty. Then gauntlets, again, somewhat higher. I mean, six is it's a somewhat significant amount of an upgrade for one piece of armor. And the attack power, I mean... It's going to add up a lot if you consider that we have 8% attack power coming from trousers, gloves, chest plate, and boots. That's what, four pieces? So 32% uh, increased damage. That's it's not a full oil, but it's starting to get close to that. And active all the time, no matter what type of enemy we're going against, that's pretty sweet. So let's just try throwing this stuff on and again, see what that looks like again. I think it is... Looking better, because it just looked very plain, very bland first time around. We were going with the, the entry-level feline armor, but the chest plate was the worst, I thought. And now, hmm, what do I think? It was like this weird, just sleeveless armor. It was basically only the blue that we're seeing here. But now, we in the previous upgrade, we gained just basically what looked like long sleeve, or long cotton sleeves. Now, those sleeves have gone from cotton to what looks like chainmail, and I don't know if it looks that much better than just cotton sleeves, but it's something. And the boots. Yeah, getting a little niftier. I think it definitely does look better than the original round of, of cat school gear. Let's just, you know, do our little catwalk with it. waiting to see yes yes it is cat school gear <laughs> but uh okay i think we'll give this a shot for now 